welcome to another uncomfortably warm day. <laughs> Hope you slept okay. I, I wasn't too bad, I suppose. Tired today, kayaking a lot yesterday. Uh, meh. Anyway, it is, what is it? It's Friday, 26th of June. And uh, today is Bobby McCamera. Got to say it like that, Bobby McCamera. Sounds like somebody that lives down the street. Wee Bobby, Bobby McCamera. Uh, <laughs> we'll be my camera up for CrossFit. Three minutes on, one minute off, three minutes for max reps, where you're going to start off with one thing and then follow with as many of the other things as you can. So what that's going to look like is part A is going to be three minutes to do 50 ground to overhead. That won't take you very long. And then as many weighted ab mat sit-ups as you can. Um, rest one minute. Then the second one is 50 lunges, no weights, just but knee touching floor. Uh, and then as many air squats as you can, that's going to be a doot. If you are a total beginner with the weighted ab, ab mat sit-ups at the start, you can do seated Russian twists instead. And instead of the lunges, you could do step-ups, just as some suggestions. Uh, the one minute rest, uh, air squats could be to a chair, for example. I'll try and show some of that stuff in the video. Um, one minute's rest and 50 Russian swings, that's the ones that go to here, plus as many pike sit-ups as you can, or if you're a beginner, maybe you could sub that for uh, either knee tucks or side bends. One minute's rest and then as many burpees as you can in three minutes, which might be one today. If I'm having a good day, might be one. Right, where are we? Oh, looks tidy in here, it's not, everything's just behind the camera. <laughs> so let's start off with the 50 ground to overhead. You can use anything. There's a wee four kilo dumbbell sitting here, so I could use that. It's going to touch the ground and press overhead. Okay, you could, if if you've got an object, so something you do that you have to hold kind of like more like this, then you don't have to go all the way down to the ground. Go to roughly where like if you had ankle socks on, roughly where that would be, and then press overhead. If you're a total beginner, then you might have something like a cushion something that's pretty light. Uh, I've got this little Lululemon bag that has no longer got Lululemon in it. It's got knee sleeves and uh, gymnastic drips. <laughs> so I could be proud overhead with that. No problem. For the weighted ab mat sit-ups, Lord knows where my ab mat goes. It's over there somewhere behind the camera. So we'll just do this without. Let's go back to my wee Dumbbell. So if you have an ab mat, sure, you can use it. If you don't, then you can, you can do these without. So just find a way to hold your weight so that you go all the way back. You're going to touch your weight off the ground above your head. You probably couldn't see that behind the box. And then all the way forward and touch the weight off the ground in front of your feet. Uh, that. <laughs> just that. <laughs> Uh, if you're a beginner, then you might want to do seated Russian twists where you sit on a chair or a box and you do your twists like that. For the lunges, these are knee to the floor lunges. Okay, Try and make sure you position yourself so that you can push through your heel of your front foot. You can do walking lunges uh, or stationary lunges. That. And then your squats. Uh, if you're a beginner, you could, as I said at the start, you can sub that with step ups if you want. Any height of step that you like. Then your squats. Oh, oh, that feels good today. That was a surprise. I thought I was going to feel trash. If you're a beginner, you can do your squats to a chair or a raised surface. Also, if you struggle with your squat depth, it's a good idea to do, do your uh, squats to a target. To encourage you to get that bit lower, uh, preferably not something that uh, you can't sit on. Make sure it's something that if you fall over, you can sit on it. For the Russian swings, these are going straight out in front of you to here. Beginners, same thing, no different. And pike sit up. Loves me a pike sit up. I love a pike sit up. I'll probably love it today, but 
Okay, so arms and legs straight out. You're going to bring your upper body and your lower body up at the same time. Um, if you don't have pike sit-ups, then you could sub that for V-tucks. Okay, uh, if you're a beginner still and getting up and down off the floor is a bit of an issue, then you might want to do seated on a box, either, oh, make sure I'm seated on the box, knee tucks, one at a time, or side bends. You can have one weight, or two, one in each hand. And then your burpees at the end, chest to floor, don't forget to jump and clap. If you're a total beginner, then you might want to do them against a raised surface. Jump your feet out, jump your feet in, stand, jump and clap if you can. If none of that's going to happen, then you can do step out, step in, stand, perfect. To make them easier, higher surface. That's it. Wow, well, I feel like I got through that too easily. I did. I'm just going to roll with that, probably missed something, sorry. Don't think I did. Right, bye, before I screw it up. Bye-bye. Bye, 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 love you.